I'm Irma Anderson. I'm an independent consultant and I work with over 100 international schools worldwide in the implementation of the new math standards and also science standards. I'm here at ASM doing professional development with the K-5 uh, math teachers, also worked some with the middle school. But basically I was here to work with the K-5 teachers in implementing the math standards. It's very important that teachers have an opportunity to have discussions about not only the important critical areas of each of their grade levels, but also the coherence or how those learning progressions progress across the grade levels, but more importantly, how do they progress within the grade level. Having Irma here with us has been different than other professional development opportunities because she's here at ASM, so that means that she gets to work with our community as a team, but she's also here three times, so we've had the introduction and she starts us off on a great note, but then she's checking in with us and then also ending with us. Um, so this is prolonged growth. It's, it's been able to be developed over the entire year. With this new math program, it was totally revolutionized our math program that we've been teaching the kids and it's definitely very different than last year. And so working with Irma has helped us to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to follow that new math program and also to make sure that we are doing it in a way that makes sense for kids and we're teaching it in a way that makes sense. Having Irma come and visit, observe my lesson, and work with the math department. I'm much more aware of the standards. When I'm teaching and when I'm assessing, those are always at the forefront. Um, it's also made me more aware of how our program is aligned vertically. Um, so making sure that students are prepared in sixth grade so that they can go on seventh grade and be successful. It was helpful to have her in the classroom before the lesson just to ask a couple quick questions. Um, it was really valuable having her during the lesson. There were things that I was thinking about before the lesson that I wasn't quite sure about um, and it was actually confirming. I asked her some questions during the lessons um, and she confirmed what I was already thinking was right for the children um, and so that was very valuable. Since working with Irma I've learned that there is a huge distinction between teaching arithmetic and teaching mathematics. So with teaching arithmetic, we teach them the steps to work through a problem. But we're not just teaching arithmetic, we're teaching these students to be mathematical thinkers and problem solvers and to approach problems in new ways and to really think about how they can get to that final step that they're working towards. There's a tendency sometimes, especially when you teach the same grade level over and over again, to do the same things every year. And so professional development sort of breaks you out of that pattern to make sure that you are constantly changing and evolving the practice that you teach the kids to match what's going on in the world in the latest research. In this clip, we're, we're working on um, solving multi-step word problems. So we've been practicing not just adding two numbers together, but reading a word problem carefully and finding out what we really need to be finding in the end. We really explored all the ways to make 10, and we were looking and how do we know? How do we know we found all the ways to break apart 10 into two parts? And we were look, trying to explore, um, you can start with zero plus 10, and one plus nine, and we're looking at the patterns and trying to really have a hands-on activity. In this clip, it's our first day of our second unit, which is about time. And so we were talking about the different parts of a clock and how to use those parts to tell time on an analog clock. This was actually the last lesson in a unit that we did on um, the Pythagorean theorem and irrational numbers. So what the students were doing in this lesson was applying everything that they had been learning for the past month um, to an uh, unfamiliar situation so, we, so I could assess how they understood that skill and whether they were able to transfer it to a new situation or new context. Um, there's a lot more collaboration and a lot more 
time for discussions. The children are explaining how they're thinking about numbers, they're sharing their strategies, um, and they're building upon one another's um, understanding. They're motivated from their peers to share, and also they're more curious about how, how their peers are um, exploring with the numbers. I think that kids now, in at least in third grade, are now thinking more like mathematicians. So they're not only working on computation skills. Of course, they can tell you what 30 plus 53 is, but now they can explain their thinking better. And they're also thinking about the world in a more mathematical way. The great thing about professional development is you put a bunch of people with different perspectives, but the same passion for education and for learning in the same room and the conversations are become really amazing. When we go to conferences, you get a general overview of things that you should be doing in your classroom and the latest educational research. But this was different because we had Irma coming into our classrooms. She knows the kids. She knows what we've been working on the last few years and where we need to go over the next few years. So it was personalized and directed towards our school and our students here at ASM.